For some reason, influencer boxing has become one of the most well-known forms of combat sport. But the question is, are these influencers, these social media specialists, are they ruining boxing for everybody else? Why, why do you think because... Well, the only way to really find out is to talk to somebody who was at the forefront of this whole mess. That guy is Faye Sensei. No! Big right hand again from Sensei, and he's trying to light him up. And then not only that, but we have to spar him. Phase one is complete. <laughs> Phase. I just touched down in Boston, Massachusetts. Because I don't want to get knocked out by an influencer boxer, I've prepared my body and my mind for the next day. And while doing so, I get a call from my buddy Icy like, Mike. When you drop the music on there, if I were to move a clip, or if I were to remove a clip, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off clip. right there real quick. Um, okay. Well, what do you think about influencer boxing? I, I feel like it's super stupid and lame, and I don't know why anyone watches it. Well, you're pretty old. Did you watch the old celebrity boxing stuff? No, I've never gotten that. No, I don't. I don't give a shit about watching people who don't know how to box. Box. Like I don't think it's really that interesting. Yeah. But like, if they were trying to, if there's someone's trying to pay you to do it, you should go do it. This is a pretty common perception of people who train regularly and then see highlights of these moments and know that these kids are getting paid. But we just see it from the outside. I wanted to get a better look. How are you doing? Good man. Good morning. Good morning. So, how you been? um. I want to get to the bottom of this. So, what was your first involvement with influencer boxing? Oh, dude, super random. I get it. I'm on my Twitter DMs. It's yeah. KSI. I go, what? Hey, bro. Just want to know. I saw your fight on YouTube. That was a sick knockout. I have a boxing match coming up. I'm like, okay, obviously I know you're fighting Joe Weller. Yeah. Hopefully we can train sometime. Actually, put that, that you know, he threw that in there. Yeah. I, I think I responded like, just the weekend of January 21st work. Like yeah. I just went straight to that, and yeah. he was like, yeah, that works. I'm like, all right, I've already booked a flight. <laughs> this fight with Joe Weller would end up being like the catalyst to all of the influencer boxing we see today. Technically speaking, Theo Baker and Joe Weller. Okay, well, I get stuff wrong sometimes. Anyway, with the massive following that KSI and Joe Weller had, this was a hit. If you're wondering how it looked, not the most skilled affair. Anyway, within this, it sparked something much bigger than it's one It's like fight. a whole cast of people now. It's not just like the KSI, Logan Paul, Jake right. Paul. It was, it was them and then everybody else. Yeah. But now everybody else is a lot closer. And now that there's all of these influencer boxing superstars, a bunch of promotions are working their way into the influencer boxing game. But what's their motive? Who's, who's getting into this to promote it? Is it people with with boxing promotion background? Is Are they different people than Correct. the people who are putting on boxing fights? fights. Yep, definitely. Okay. Uh, it is. It's um, definitely more entertainment people that see uh, a space for it. And there's, um, Misfits is doing really well. Yeah. They have a, like, nearly a monopoly not not yet but they're really close because ksi right. he understands the scene and he found a good partner and they're killing it and like jake is has mvp now yeah so he's gonna pull the boxing community so essentially what i'm getting from this is that if you don't like these influencer boxing matches they're probably just not being put on for you they're a completely different thing than pro boxing what feels like the difference between Boxer boxers and influencer boxers. They lack a lot of the skill that's developed over time, but they're in shape like a boxer. The foot feints and the little games you don't you're not really playing. Yeah. You're not playing the little in-between games like us when we're doing that right now. Right. A lot of little in-between stuff. Okay. <laughs> Do they hit hard? Uh, yeah, a handful of guys that hit hard. Um, obviously not like pro boxers. Right. Because they probably hit me harder, the influencers, during the sparring. Right. But the power from a pro, if he's pulling, like I just know you that just if know. he wanted to shut me off, yeah. I'd be in the hospital, right?
let's just be honest, whenever we see these TikTok influencers doing anything, we just assume that they're fishing for compliments. But they don't need to fish for compliments. In fact, they could just, they could just fish. With the sponsor today's video, I just spit so bad. Fishing Clash. As a kid, I used to do a lot of fishing on a lake that actually looked just like this. Fishing Clash takes me back to those days where I was just carefree. I could just sit on a dock and just be. Fishing Clash is relaxing, enjoyable, it's pretty satisfying. But if you have a competitive side, like I do. The dueling aspect of this game is my favorite part. Essentially, there's a you over here and there's another poor, hopeless fisherman that's across from you. This is your competitor. It's a race against the clock to try and catch two types of bigger fish than they do. By casting your reel out, and then you hit this button, you have to keep it within this little bar right here. Your finger's just going ta -ta All while, like, you're in this nice, aesthetic scenery with like, oh, is that the sound of the lake hitting the rocks along the shore? You can also unlock different locations, lures, reels. In my line of work, I tend to get beat up a lot. In fact, I get beat up in this video. So being able to escape that every now and then and just like transport myself to some wonderful fishing escape, pretty enjoyable. So if you want that, download Fishing Clash for Android or iOS for free using my link. Use my gift code, Sensei Seth, to get an awesome reward the value of $20. With this code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups. Share your biggest catch in the pinned comment down below. Again, the link is right here and use code Sensei Seth to get those $20 in free gifts. Thank you to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys who support these links whenever I have them. So if it wasn't apparent enough from the last sparring, Face Sensei isn't just some influencer boxer. He's a lifelong martial arts practitioner who happened to get into social media almost by accident. So you're a part of Face Clan. Yeah, dude, so like Temper, who's now fighting. Yeah, is just, fighting. Just freaking got cracked by KSI by a freaking karate move, dude. I know, Tommy man. is one of the guys who got me in the face. He's from the same town. Oh. He was my student. Oh. That's how that's how it happened. As an adult, he graduated high school, he wanted to do some kickboxing, yeah. came to school, didn't know who Temper was, didn't know who FaZe was. He's already an OG, the FaZe clan was a thing, right. didn't know what the heck that was. I didn't even have an Instagram. Yeah. I was already popular at the time, because yeah. he was vlogging. I didn't know what he was, I thought he was vlogging for like family videos or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's vlogging, he's in Temper, you know. Um, so you're, you're straight <laughs> up like a guest. You're a piece of a cast of yes, a video. Yes, and no idea. I had no idea. And That's all of a sudden, he's like, yeah, dude, there's some videos in. I'm like, okay. I was like, I was looking at it. I'm like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. And then like, he, like, then he just like, let me explain to you what FaZe Clan is. And I was like, what? And again, this makes total sense. You might not know what FaZe Clan is. In case you didn't, they're a gaming group, essentially, that makes this much a year crazy. What this means is that there's an entire audience we have no idea of that well, essentially this new generation of social media influencers have realized that people want to see them get beat up. Fair enough. It's very weird because amateur boxers, what's the lifestyle of an amateur boxer? They have a job, yeah. they get in there a couple days a week. Right. It, it, it develops over a certain period of time. I know a handful of guys who they literally live like a professional boxer. These dudes are not messing around because they, it's a weird, like bubble where these kids are YouTubers mm -hmm. successful. Yeah, they get to decide what the hell they want to do. Right. So they go, you know what? Like they can tra they can dedicate more training, which is great because I'm an instructor to, than me. And because of the skill level and the large community these people have, there's a desire for analysts, commentators who have a greater understanding of boxing and can easily translate the information of what's happening in the ring to the average viewer who maybe doesn't know as much about boxing. Hey, kind of like this. It's your boy Wade Plim here from the Wade Concept to break down the spar of the senseis. Let's get it. Round three of five, the harder round. Sensei Seth face Sensei. See what we got here. Nice lead jab. Face Sensei. Now he's got Seth on the ropes. Hook to the body jab on the break. See what makes Seth dangerous though, he can switch on you. Ooh, see that? Lead check hook. My oh boy Isaiah face Sensei gets a lead hook of his own. Now we're dirty boxing. Now we're in the pocket, baby. We're throwing on him. <laughs> Very nice work. The influencer boxing community, because of these analysts and the people who are behind it, make it a much fuller experience. Okay, nice jab to the body. Sensei Seth. Out of that orthodox position now, and he'll switch. Nice jab to the body face, Sensei. Both guys trying to, to measure, not eat a big one, but get to their spot and land. Ooh, again, the lead hand from face Sensei is causing problems. Right hand sneaks through. 
Nice. Three. Lead hook to the body. Sensei set. And now we go southpaw. Look at the switch stance again. He's working that jab. I like that. Faint jab, outside hook. Oh, he tries to go uppercut, but pays for it. Right hand, Sensei down the pipe. Oh, and here comes Seth. Karate bladed stance. Looking to blitz on Sensei. He's trying to pressure him. Shoulders forward, nice. Backhand was nice there. Good blitz. And then face Sensei, right hand to the body. Good round. Woo there it is. Oh, and the brother Sensei's hug, because that oh, is boy. what true combat sports practitioners do. They leave it in the ring, and then it's all love. You know, Good there's like a lot of hate that comes into influencer boxing, but that's, that's the sport, bro. Right. The sport is prize fighting. Put the people in the seats and bring the eyes to the screen. Right. The promotion has to do that. And then you have skilled fighters. Well, skilled fighting is not, it, there's the entertainment factor. Mm -hmm. And the entertainment factor comes from personality and the fighter. Right. And the promotion tries to build the personalities through press conferences, through, you know, shows, through... They, they tell you, come on, in the press conference, you gotta hype it up, we need, we need that, right? Because that's where the money comes from. So if you wanna be a big name, that's part of it. However, if you come to a, a company and you are the promotion, mm -hmm. who these influencers are, yeah. you've already done the hardest part when it comes to making money in prize fighting, 100%. which is building, I, if you already have eyeballs, you already have fans. People already want to see you get beat up or yes. beat somebody up, Correct. which is like the whole, the mass, yeah. the mass appeal of fighting in general is, you see somebody get beat up. Yeah. Because you're not really watching this form of fighting for the skill, the technicality, you're watching it for the story. A lot of these influencers have their whole life put on blast on a regular basis. The people who are fans or not fans of these people know so much about them, they're so invested in their lives that the thought of them getting beat up or possibly winning and triumphing in kind of the most raw human interaction possible fighting is so enticing much more so than watching a full fight card full of people you don't really know but are pretty talented i think a lot of them aren't terrible they're just in the really early stages that we've all been in and have been able to capitalize and make money for what they're doing i mean at the level these guys are training three years makes a huge difference in fact Bay sensei and i also sparred three years ago and you know i'm not great now but i was way worse then <laughs> Not doing that anymore. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just trying to clear it. You're just trying to clear it, bro. Ugh. Just clearing it up. Well, I, I just like have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So you're just trying to touch, 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 touch. And like I'm trying to do it's what I think bad, boxers bro. look like. And yeah. I think a lot of it is like, I think a lot of what looks so funky and like kind of cringy yeah. is I know what it should look like, but I, and I think I'm doing it, but it, early on you're, you're not. Yeah. So does that make influencer boxing bad for boxing? I don't know, I don't really have much of an answer. I'm just a reporter. You guys are the one that's supposed to decide, I guess. What, did you guys think you were just gonna bait an answer out of me? Oh yeah, uh, speaking of bait. Thank you to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys who support these links whenever I have them.